I would never try to intentionally hurt someone. It does happen. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm Peyton List. I'm here with 17 and this is 17 questions. <sighs> Gosh, so much. You know, I, I actually think my 17 year old self was pretty awesome. I feel like I was very confident then and it's kind of gone downhill from there. I think just like as you get older and you're coming of age, like you just become so much more aware of everything. I think just keep doing you, just keep enjoying being 17. That's the best age. You feel like an adult, you're really coming into your own, but you don't have all the responsibilities yet. So I'm like, just enjoy it. I think having to be vulnerable having to cry in a scene or like be in an emotional state that somebody else is and some days you know you're you're just not feeling it and i think you have to you have to get into it no matter what and some days you know i'll feel on top of the world i'll be so ready to do a scene and then there's other days where you know i'm going to do a fight scene or something and i just don't feel like myself and tori is just like my character on cobra kai is she's ready to take on anything and she's fierce and i think sometimes i don't feel that in my personal life so i have to just like put myself aside Mm, my first movie I did, I was seven years old. It was this movie, 27 Dresses. I played the young Katherine Heigl. I swear, I don't know why I felt older then than I do now. When I think back to those times, I felt like I knew everything at seven years old and I loved being on that set. I knew that was what I wanted to do, but I feel like I knew it then more than I do now. I almost wish I could talk to that little seven-year-old and she could be my little manager or something. I really never regret the days that I've put the work in for something. I have really tried to train my mind and be like, I've never regretted getting up for that early workout or training or going to do that job and like just putting in the extra mile. I've always just been so happy because at the end of the day, like you're only doing it for yourself. I would never try to intentionally hurt someone. I mean, maybe, you know, in a fight in the moment it happens, but I would never intentionally go in ready to just hurt someone. It does happen. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I always, I don't know. I, I mean, I always, I always eat. I always overthink. Really, I always overthink. I love chocolate, honestly. I love chocolate. I love Nutella like peanut butter pretzels, anything, you know, Trader Joe's. I like know all the Trader Joe's snacks inside and out, like the dark chocolate covered cherries from Trader Joe's are great. I'm going to Mexico. Yeah, I went a couple of hours outside of Cabo and it was the most beautiful beach I'd ever been to. And the people were so cool and fun. And yeah, I just like, I barely went on my phone because I didn't have any service where I was. And that was the best. I realized like just going off my phone was great. And, and I saw donkeys like on the way to the beach and they're so cute. You know, I think that's how you say it. It's Y U N O. That's one of my favorite artists. I always like Frank Ocean and I replay Mac Miller. Nine Perfect Strangers with Nicole Kimmon and Melissa McCarthy. I love Melissa McCarthy. I think she's brilliant and uh, I love that show. And then what's the other one? Minx. The show Minx is such a funny commentary on just like LA and the business. I'm trying to do a job just to show other people that you're something or prove to people that you're something. I, I love that show. Oh gosh. Probably on Disney. Probably doing Jesse because I did over 100 episodes of that show. That and Cobra Kai now. People will come up to me the most about both of those. I would love to work with Emma Stone. I've always been a fan of hers. I think she's so versatile too. I loved Corella and um, Paul who plays Stingray on Cobra Kai. He was in that with her. I love them together in that. I mean, I think doing season four of Cobra Kai was one of the best moments of my career. They wrote such a variety of scenes for, for me and I got to just do so much physical work. I love the character Tori so much. I love playing her. Michelle Obama guest starred on the episode of Jesse. They didn't tell us who the guest star was. The name was blacked out on the script and we didn't realize that secret service and security had been watching us for weeks on set just to make sure that you know it was like a safe environment for her to be in and so when she showed up i really was just like who is this person we had to go through security to get into work which we never have to do she was the most lovely person but i remember being so starstruck and it was just so weird it felt like just the most normal day but michelle obama was there it was a really cool experience maybe in, uh the south of italy <laughs> i went to the Amalfi Coast once during the winter though, but it was so nice and quiet during the winter and just eat all the most amazing pasta and pizzas and food, it was so nice. I wanna go there during the summertime though. That they have access to pursue anything. It's like, if you have a talent, just share it. Like don't don't listen to the, to the voices and the hate because I feel like if people are hating on you, then you're doing something right because you're getting attention. And why would they be giving you attention unless you know you were, do you were onto something? So I feel like you just gotta ignore some of the voices when you're first starting out. And if you if you really think you can do something, just pursue it and, and don't listen to anyone else. Thanks so much for hanging with me. Be sure to subscribe to 17 and don't miss the new season of Cobra Kai season four. Bye guys, thank you.